So I'm making 12 of these chips because I need to swatch some colors I bought for ceramics. Uh, ceramics color a bit particular because when you paint you cannot tell what color is gonna be afterwards. So we decided to actually make our own swatch. So each time we know what color we're gonna get. And especially like this, because they're separated, we're gonna be able to create color palette by putting the colors next to each other um, and know in advance what's gonna happen. Yep, I'm excited to make this. Hello, five people that watch my videos. Welcome to week number three, in which I'm really impressed I'm still filming. After years of not filming anymore, I just convinced myself to do it. Actually, when I filmed the first week of this thing, I decided to just not do it halfway because I really hated the result, but I'm sticking to this though and I'm very happy about it. So, ah, can you believe my arm is already tired from holding the phone? Great. Today I'm all dressed up because I was about to go to a road trip. I decided not to go out of uh, half laziness and a very old people style annoyance to be in the car for too long um, but also because I was afraid of coming home and being too tired to actually make the drawing for today and all the stuff around it so I just stayed home and now I'm just gonna enjoy my beautiful outfit and makeup and feel like a proper person who, who gets ready to stay home which is by the way one of the things I like to improve my life by doing so Sounds good. I will not disturb any of you. Not at all. Now, this is Hudenlieber Pastis, which is just a fancy German word for pate, but it absolutely cannot sit out, all right? So apparently the name Alessandra means protectress of men, which I assume it doesn't mean humankind, but actually men. And so it wasn't too hard for me to pick what to draw. I think this is one of my favorite, honestly. Do you think it's fair that every time that I try to go out I feel incredibly guilty because I'm not taking food favors for the kittens? It's not time for food. I'm just going out. You're spoiled. Anyway, so yesterday after I made the drawing I was super incredibly and unusually tired and all I done is being 
on the bed and on the couch all day watching other people's vlog and today I've been trying to start editing a little bit for today's drawing number 16 will be a memory from your childhood once I've been to a place called Serra San Bruno with my parents in the mountains and we were having a picnic with some family friends or relatives um, and I got lost and I w I, I'm always been very bad at finding my way in places even now I'm very bad I was desperate at one point after climbing a wooden fence I tripped and I rolled down the hill <laughs> and at the end of me rolling I ended up sitting with my palm on the floor and I saw my knees were all like scuffed up I was super desperate it was the top the peak of my desperation and at the point where I was staring at the blood magically really magically a firefly appeared and it stopped on my knee and the crazy thing is that there was a blue firefly which to me today is still pretty rare but at the time i honestly had never seen such a thing imagine even stopping on me i don't know it was kind of a magical moment and at and that point i heard voices and i looked to my left and i saw actually afar my family was just sitting and doing their own thing they didn't even notice i left which means First, I didn't get lost for as long as I thought. Second, I was probably not that far, but I was so <laughs> desperate. So I remember this memory is a nice thing, so I'm gonna draw this. I'm really curious to see what everybody else is gonna draw. I knew I would enjoy these prompts drawn by somebody else, but it's, so, it's been so interesting to see so many different uh, approaches from so many places around the world and all these people that obviously I don't know, but even people I know, which I don't know this detail of, you know, I'm ready to go and please, before you go, admire my t-shirt. Today, day 17. The drawing for today is... Why do I always have to think about it for like 15 minutes? I literally look at them two seconds ago. The drawing for today is a hint to a secret. This one will be fun to do. This has no explanation whatsoever. The thing about today's drawing is that I had two separate ideas and I don't know which one I'm actually gonna make. It's not related to the same. Uh, secret. I may do them both. Oh, ciao, Pastella. Ciao. You love me a little bit. Just a little bit. Not really. Here we are. That's my first idea. Oh my god, what a beautiful nails. It's so beautiful. This is the idea I had until yesterday, but actually I, I just now improved it by adding things or moving things around and now I'm very happy with it so I'm just probably gonna go with this one but yeah that's the first not much to say it's a secret and this one is the second idea which I also liked but now I kind of gotta touch the first one but I like this one too I think I'm gonna end up doing both of them
not steel. Steel is a sucker's game. Polymers, coatings, internals. You crack open an HVAC, that is all us. Is there golf here? There freaking better be. A secretary. Great. Not a secretary. Fine, fine. Executive assistant. Right now I have to ink. Now I don't know why, but in the last two days, even though I, as I told you, already had the ideas for almost the whole challenge, for some reason, for the last two, I doubted myself last minute. So yesterday, for example, as you saw, I did two different ideas instead of just one. Today the drawing is about um, a dream outfit. Obviously there are so many things I, I want, outfit-wise. I thought about it a lot, but then I decided to just do the first one I can think of. Luckily it's also red, so I decided to go for this one also for this specific reason. For some reason, last minute, I added the character to the illustration, which was completely unnecessary. And now I don't even know if I want to keep it or not. Can you even see? This is the main character, which is me. I don't know why. I have this guy. I kind of like it, but also not. Setting aside time at night to review your daily progress is an important step in leading a stoic lifestyle. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, mastery of reading and writing requires a master. in ancient Greece, I doubt there was a dating culture similar to what we have now. Now, that said, it's essential to deconstruct what's exactly happening. Now, falling in love is a very intense experience. Our bodies produce chemicals. The only person we can think about is the one we're in love with. about a weird snack you tried and for me it was really easy to pick because when I was in Sweden in 2017-18 I think or 18-19 oh my god I don't remember and Sweden is very into licorice which is something that I love so I was happy about a shop close to our house it was a shop that was selling everything made out of licorice and they had these crisps so potato chips crisps, whatever you call them, licorice flavored. Obviously, I immediately bought them and they were so good. Maybe it again, I didn't think 
to think. I need to build a shelter for the kittens outside. About a week ago, I said it could have rained any time that day. It didn't rain. So it didn't rain since, I think, surely May, which is crazy, but it's true. These kittens, I never experienced rain, which is pretty cute, but also extremely sad for me to imagine that I would be really shocked when it happens. I heard thunder for 10 minutes in a row, even though there are no clouds. Today I have to draw the fusion between two animals I like. I did so many tests, but I settled with goat plus chicken. The chicapra. I'll build a shelter now and then I'll get to work. I assume I'm a bit tired to look at me and my room, but I did nothing this week outside, which is sad, but realistic, because it's true. So I started some fairy lights in my roof. Maybe they make you slightly happier. I've been editing all morning and now I'm about to finish, but I have a back pain, so I've been laying on the floor for stretching. Today I have a fun one. I have to do a crush, a fictional crush from when I was a kid, which is not that difficult because all of my childhood crushes were fictional. I started falling, falling in love up. with the real humans about at least, I don't know, but I kind of forced myself at one point because all of my friends started liking you know, um, all the bands and stuff, and yeah, I kind of cashed up because I felt, you know, peer pressure and stuff. One of the most long-lasting crushes I had as a kid was uh, most definitely Aladdin. Uh, it's one of those crushes I cannot be embarrassed about because Aladdin is, first, beautiful. Second, that animation is so great. I, I still love it, and I like all the characters so much. That's why I picked that one. It is starting to feel weird to speak like this, so... See you when I actually go to work. For now, stretching. your ghastly crimes you are a human being who must not spend the entirety of his final days confined easy fellas not after no trouble today <laughs> 